Chris Cook for City Lights on Nervous TV and today we're down at the Vancouver Aquarium. We're down here to check out some of the latest exhibits and promotions and to do that we're going to meet a friend of mine and she's going to show us around. So come on, let's go check it out. Cool, so uh, what is it that you do down here? Well, I manage a team of interpreters, and we're the people who do all of the sort of public education here. So everything from shows to encounters to just being around and answering guest questions. Awesome. So um, I've heard a lot about the Illuminescence. Can you tell me what exactly this is? Absolutely. Luminescence is our featured promotion for the winter, and it's a really great opportunity to celebrate aquatic light. Okay, so how does an aquarium celebrate aquatic light? That is a great question. We have a lot of animals who either produce light or use light in really interesting ways here at the aquarium. So we've decided to feature them by showing them off, really. We have some exhibits with different light fixtures over top of them, like blue lights or black lights or UV lights. And when those lights hit the animals, they take in the wavelength and then reflect it back in a different wavelength. So it seems like they're glowing. Okay, so now Nicole is being a uh, worthy uh, participant. Now, can you tell us uh, a little bit more about what it is that you're in right now? Well, I'm in the exhibit with my buddy the eel up here. This is a very powerful electric eel. Now, an electric eel emits a particular voltage of electricity and it tends to coincide with how long it is. So, good rule of thumb for every foot of eel that you've got, you've got about 100 volts coming at you. So this eel is about three feet long. It's a 300 voltage power watt. And uh, you're actually capturing this power and doing something with it, right? Yeah, we are. So on either side of me, there are two little metal poles that come down the side. Those conduct the electricity that the eel lets off and then shoot them to a power box, which is basically helping this eel turn on the lights on the tree behind me. These are awesome. What is going on here? These are our Pacific Sea Nettles, and they are one of my favorite exhibits at the aquarium. They're just gorgeous to watch, but uh, deadly as well. <laughs> Basically, when you look at a jelly, they have two different sets of arms or tentacles coming off their body. So the bell is the big ball at the top, and coming off the edge of the bell, those are their tentacles. And each one individual strand is covered in thousands of nematocysts, which are stinging cells, kind of like harpoons. And when they brush up against their food, they trigger and fire a toxin into the body of whatever it is they want to eat. Okay, so one of the coolest things about coming to the aquarium is that you're not coming just to see fish, right? No, absolutely. Because we're an aquarium, we do have a lot of different types of fish and marine life here, but water affects everything on land too. So we also have an Amazon rainforest gallery where you can see a lot of different animals like snakes and sloths and birds. And actually, I have one of those Amazonian snakes right here behind me. Come look. This is Pisco. She is an Amazon boa constrictor and she is over nine feet long from the tip of her head all the way to the tip of her tail over there. Well, thank you so much for showing us around today. Well, thank you for coming, Chris. It's really fun to show people around and see all the new things. So um, the show that we just saw, the promotion, how long is it going for? Luminescence is running until January 29th. What can we uh, expect to see here in the future? Well, coming up at the end of January is Divers Weekend. That's always a good time. There's dive companies from all over the Lower Mainland here, and you can come check them out, learn how to dive. Mm -hmm. And we always have a new promotion every couple of months, so you should come back and check them out. Well, so, I mean, I've already seen all the new exhibits. They're pretty awesome, so I'm pretty excited to see what's to come. Excellent. Well, then we'll see you all back here in a couple of months. So, well, thanks. Uh, for myself, I'm signing out. Chris Cook for Nervous TV.